Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and it is a Tuesday. You regulars know what that means, 50-50 chance you're getting free stuff from Epic Games and you're in luck. Today we are getting free stuff. So we're going to go hands on with the free items we are getting from the Fab Marketplace. We've got three items overall. This is one of them. This is the 1850s post office or something to that effect. Uh, and what you see here is the 1850s were really depressing. <laughs> really, really, really depressing. So you see here... Uh, kind of everything you see to create this kind of environment, all the various different bits and bobs going on down over here. Now, one thing I want to point out to you very early on, even if you are not using Unreal Engine right now, you're going to want to grab these because you can use fab assets in other game engines, uh, as we will see an example of in just a second. So this is the first asset. This again, 1850s post office gives you an idea of what it is all about let's head on out that gate and then we'll take a look at the overview map so here you go this is the post and telegraph general office all right let's go take a look at the overview and here you see all of the assets that go together to create this so we got a variety of different trees and falling down we got a variety of different walls in various different states of repair because again it seems like the 1850s really sucked and then we have all of these various different sundries used to create that environment. Now, I mentioned earlier on, these can be easily exported to other game engines. There are guides down below to show you exactly how to do this. I use the commercial plugin Unreal uh, to Godot. Details of that are available down below as well. And here you can see this is the level exported out to the Godot game engine. So these are all prefabs that are ready to work with. So you see over here. Now, this is particular to the way that that worked. But you see some barbed wire brought in. Let's bring in a bell. Let's bring in a barrel. Super easy to work with. So you can see this is what the assets look like uh, to Unreal Engine. Here again, Unity, or sorry, uh, Unreal Engine, Godot Engine gives you an idea of how the exports work and how ready it is to work with. So even if you're using a different game engine, go ahead and pick these up. Free is free, and that's one hell of a price. So as you see here, you can easily use these in different engines. You can also export out to Unreal, Blender, and so on. Sorry, Unity, Blender, and so on. Check the guides down below. I will show you how to do all of those things. All right, so that is the first asset. That is the 1850s post office. Pretty straightforward asset there. Next up, we have something called Cinecam. Let's go to the demonstration map. I'm going to bring up the playground. This is a dynamic camera. We'll get some more details of this one when we get to the uh, page for it. But as you see here, you got things like focal length, zoom, speed, and so on. Uh, if I control that one, it is the uh, zoom speed. Uh, plus or minus is an automatic zoom setting. Uh, we can walk around like so. So if you want this camera for your world, you got various different settings available for it. Uh, middle mouse button should update the focus distance. Uh, space bar, fly up or down. I don't actually get the control, so K. Okay. There we go. So there's all your various different controls for handling this. So focal length is Q and E. So you can see focal length out, focal length in. And then I can uh, double tap Alt for free look. It's not it's not flawless the way that these, uh, these controls actually work. But it gives you an idea what it's about. We'll get back to that one in a second when I... Uh, when I showcase the web page about it. And then finally, we have the mercenaries. Let's go ahead and load up the map demo on this one. This one is a male and female module mercenary group. So you can see there is one of the females, very dark, but you can see there. And they've got all of the various bits and pieces go together to create this character, both again, male and female. We have a variety of weapons available over here, and they can all be put together to create this particular character. Uh, and then a little bit more details of them. Over here, various different heads available, and you see various different results from it. So we got these uh, mercenary characters available as well. So that is it for the hands-on portion. Once again, we have the 1850s post office environment. As you saw, this one can be exported out to other engines. It's mostly static meshes, so it works quite well. So if you need to create uh, depressing as hell post office, you have all of the assets you need to create them right here. Uh, on top of that one, we also have the Cinecam. Again, I'll get you a bit more details up here. So it's a versatile virtual camera rig that allows you to control key settings such as focus and aperture during runtime using shortcuts. Say goodbye to the hassle of setting up native Unreal Engine 5 camera and trying to achieve smooth, professional looking camera movements. For Cinecam, you can dive right into your scene and start creating instantly. Uh, so features include walk fly mode, movement speed controls, automatic walk fly, focal length, aperture, and so on. So 
it's a specialty camera for your world. Now, again, for some reason, the demo does not match the control, specifically what it says. And that part is a bit unfortunate. Now, the next one here, this is actually kind of interesting because this one is available, you see over here, Unreal, Unity, as well as raw FBX format. So even if you want to use these in another game engine, you don't even have to export them. They're actually available for multiple game engines. It's one of those promises of Fab. I haven't really lived up to it that much yet. So you see this one is Unreal and this one is Unreal. So this one would require exporting. This one is basically basically a, a system for Unreal Engine only, so it's not going to be that useful. But this one here is, again, directly available in FBX and Unity. Uh, that would be a Unity asset package, by the way, as well as for Unreal Engine. So you see here, this is a set of characters modular for creating um, goth emu assassins. Not, not emu as in the bird, but emo. Uh, so yeah, get an idea of what it is all about and how it can work there. Uh, again, this one is interesting because it does have those various different versions available, which is pretty cool. You'll notice there's also two sets of licenses available. Just get the professional. This is based off if you're buying it with your own money. If you make less than a certain amount, you qualify for the personal license. But since they're giving it away for free, hey, get the pro version. So you're going to see here in terms of pricing. So a $235 asset, a $70 asset, and a $331 asset at the pricing tier. Not bad for free, I must say. So that is this month's free assets. If you want to grab them, head on over to the Fab Store. We're going to see last month's stuff is still up. So you see this one is going to be available from April 22nd at 10 a.m. Uh, and then for two weeks after that. As long as you buy them and they've purchased them, like you see these ones, 100% off, 100% off. Once you've purchased them, they are yours to keep forever. So ladies and gentlemen, that is this month's free assets. Again, we've got the... Uh, 50th post office, the Cinecam, and then finally the G2 Mercenaries, which interestingly enough are available for Unity and FBX. We don't see that too many times with these fab giveaways. Let me know what you think of this month's free stuff. And once again, if you are using a different engine, hoard these anyways. You've got nothing to lose. Create an account, keep adding these, picking them up for free. Maybe one day you'll use Unreal Engine, or it's possible you want to export them out to another engine of choice. The license does generally allow you to do that. All right, that's it. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.